Is Britain on the brink of a decade-long struggle? And could major tax hikes be on the horizon? Sir Keir Starmer seems to think so. Let's break down his bold claims and what they mean for the future. In a move that's already raising eyebrows, Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer is set to deliver a stark warning it could take a full 10 years to rebuild Britain. This comes as accusations fly that he's laying the groundwork for significant tax hikes in the upcoming budget. Critics argue that Starmer is preparing the British public for a rough road ahead, one paved with tough decisions and potential economic hardship. Tomorrow, Sir Keir will make his first major speech since taking office, where he's expected to address the nation's pressing challenges head-on. He will argue that after 14 years of conservative leadership, the damage is so extensive that it will take more than one term to repair. In a striking metaphor, Starmer is expected to compare the task ahead to cleaning up after recent race riots, emphasizing the immense effort required to rebuild and restore the country. But it's not just about the mess left behind. Starmer's speech is likely to be seen as a signal that his government is ready to make the tough, and possibly unpopular, decisions needed to put Britain back on track. He's poised to tell the public that things will get worse before they get better, and that honesty about the country's dire situation is the only way forward. The speech is also fueling speculation that Labour's Chancellor, Rachel Reeves, could be preparing to introduce major tax increases in the upcoming budget. While Labour denies this, insisting that the speech is about managing expectations and being transparent with the public, top conservatives are already on the attack. They accuse Starmer of misleading the public during the election campaign with false promises not to raise taxes and argue that his government is now scrambling to cover up a growing economic crisis. Shadow Home Secretary James Cleverly has been particularly vocal, accusing Starmer of conning the public and using tax hikes to pay off union supporters at the expense of pensioners and working people. Dame Preeti Patel and other top Tories are also piling on, warning that things will only get worse under labor, with higher taxes, potential moves closer to the EU, and a rise in illegal migration. Sir Keir, however, remains defiant. He'll likely reiterate that the problems facing Britain are worse than anyone imagined and that his government is committed to making the necessary changes, no matter how difficult. In fact, he's expected to boast that his administration has already achieved more in seven weeks than the conservatives did in seven years. He'll argue that labor isn't squandering money but rather facing up to the harsh reality left by their predecessors. Tomorrow's speech will be delivered in the Downing Street Rose Garden, with members of the public invited to witness the Prime Minister's vision for the country's future. Starmer is expected to highlight the economic and societal black hole that his government has inherited and promised that while the road ahead will be tough, real change is coming. So, is Britain ready for 10 years of hard work, or are we being set up for a decade of disappointment? What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates. This is AU News, and we'll see you in the next one.